Beloit. Beloit, 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 Beloit. Beloit, Wisconsin. Population just under 37,000. The clash of the Cubs and Brewer fans as we're on the border of Wisconsin and Illinois. Let's go. Well, you saw from outside there, went to Dulce Vida, authentic Mexican place here in Beloit. Pretty good, man. Pretty, pretty good. The only thing is, like, this is like the large, kind of proportional, right? It's a, it's a little less than what a Smoothie King large smoothie would be, right? But uh, probably the size of like a medium-ish there. So it is what it is. But again, this is authentic. It's a protein shake. I love it. It's pretty good. As I venture around Beloit today, shout out to my grandma. She loves these rice cakes. Dark chocolate, so when I visited her this weekend, was able to get those. I'm told CVS sells them, so that's the way to go. But listen, anytime I need some rice cakes, my grandma's got them in uh, Milwaukee. All right, we're gonna go check out some of the haunted houses here. We're gonna go visit two of them that were specifically mentioned in a local article here. And one of them actually mentions the show Ghost Hunters. I couldn't find the clip on it, but I could see the reference will pop it up, right? Two of them, so now we'll go visit the first of them, and then the second one. Now, as you can see, I got the bears on. I'm technically 60 miles closer to Soldier Field than Lambeau Field, but I see a lot of Green Bay Packer flags over the place. Like we said in past videos before, we got to blend in and all that stuff, and so the wardrobe change. Shout out to the Sky Carp. Quick little promo for them. I was able to get a shirt from them, a pair of shorts, and then this nice bucket hat. Also got this nice giveaway to Hawaiian shirt. So you'll see throughout this video, I'll be, I'll be flashing some of the stuff I shot. But yeah, man, listen, promoting the Sky Carp in this video too. Definitely a place you gotta visit. You gotta check out a game when you can. So now, to the haunted houses. So this is the steel workers. Union Hall up on the hill, built in 1852. So now let's go on to the next one. Man, this one is like out in the open, man. The Hanshaw Bartlett residence. I couldn't imagine being the neighbor through there, across over there, over there. When we get 50 likes on this video, man, we'll come back here, explore this one at night. The other one was kind of fenced off, but this one is open. It seems very eerily. And if someone lives here now, then I'm just gonna apologize, man, because the internet threw me off. It's like a security system. I'll have to like zoom in. Beloit Memorial High School, right? Total population of students is 1,639. And it's a student teacher ratio of 15 to 1, right? We got the high school right over here. The water right here. It's a great scenic view. And also, I saw someone coming down here. It's like a little bike path lane. I think it is. I hope at least. So, following that guy's lead.
I think in general, like a lot of places that you go when you're outside and it's nice out like this, it looks great, but Beloit, man, highly, highly underrated. Now I saw some, some guy on TikTok says the second most dangerous city in Wisconsin. The most dangerous cities to live in Wisconsin going into 2023. Number two, Beloit, Wisconsin. I don't know, man. This is what we found online. I feel like, like with anywhere, there's pockets of places that you can go and places you probably shouldn't go. For the most part during my stay, especially my Airbnb, I felt safe. So yeah. Background info right about the Sky Carp, right? ABC Supply Stadium. Seats just under 4,000 people. Typical size of a single A stadium. As you can see, there's a parking lot that is conveniently located right across the street from the stadium entrance where you get in right next to the box office. So that's an awesome deal. Tickets you can get as low as $16, at least what I saw recently. Now, every time I've been here, it hasn't been nearly as packed as the first time I went, which was July 4th weekend. So that was crazy to see. Cool to see, I should say, rather. If you get here, you know, 90 minutes early, you can get access to a nice parking lot. Are there paid spots here? Uh, I'm not sure, but I always park in this free lot again across the street, so a good little tidbit for you all. And uh, yeah, listen, Sky Carp games are a ton of fun. They're very interactive, like a lot of uh, minor league games are, I feel like, because you know, you want to be quirky and keep fans engaged throughout. So a lot of fun stuff there. I know even though it was like, you know, raining, essentially there were a lot of families there in the left field corner, third base dugout area. There's like a little lawn area that kids love to play on. And that's always a ton of fun. They love throwing the ball in the net. And then in the right field, all the way out past the bar that they have there, uh, they have a bouncy house set up. I don't know if it's every game or what, but uh, it's always a ton of fun too with the kids. And then you can hit a ball off a tee and then you can, you know, pretend to pitch to uh, a batter. The team store is great. I don't think I got a video of that, but uh, that's where I got this. Shout out to the team store, right? Um, when you're in Beloit, I think definitely for sure a staple you have to visit. Uh, the five things you have to do, right? I saw listed online. You have to go to a Beloit Sky Carp game. I switched over to the A7S III, which I recently got. Probably should use that more. And then this is great for the talking parts. So the farmer's market is something uh, that I missed out on Saturday mornings online. It says it goes from eight to one. Um, it's one of the five things to do here. Over there down on Grand Street it is. They, uh, they like close off a whole section too. But anyway, too, another thing on that list was the Ironworks Hotel. You can see I got some good video of that there. It's it's great, man. It's downtown, centrally located, where you can walk to the Sky Carp game. You can walk to all these restaurants. Uh, you can walk to the farmer's market, walk to bars. Basically, you can go anywhere outside of like those haunted houses that uh, we looked at. You'd have to probably drive there. But anyway, uh, you want to save gas and all that. You stay there. We saved that money, right? So we go to Planet Fitness to work out. We stayed in Airbnb for $130 after all those various fees, which is really, really good. So in Beloit, the most famous person that uh, came from this city is Roy Chapman Andrews, who lived to be 76 years old. He was an explorer, an adventurer, and actually the big thing was he found the first dinosaur eggs known to science. But unfortunately, I couldn't find any famous athletes from the area, so it is what it is. Be on the lookout, hopefully there are, but the Bully Sky Carp, Jacob Berry, their top prospect, and they have a lot of other good guys too. Shout out Larry Larson, the voice of the Sky Carp. He was able to break it down for me, but I know through there, they have top players make their way through, but we're talking about from the city itself. Don't really know. So a place I did come here before, there was a deli shop, deli sandwich place. Some people like cold sandwiches. My friend Ryan that I brought with me, some of you have seen these videos. Uh, he said it was good. Uh, he's a very good, uh, I would count on him for being a, a food connoisseur, right? But yeah, I wasn't a big fan. I, I like having toasted sandwiches. We did a lot in a short amount of time, and now we're gonna close it off with one more thing. Technically, I went down to South Beloit, which is literally right on the border there. So is it part of Beloit? I don't know. You saw that vintage mall, best of Beloit. Great options in there. There's a lot of like some homemade food type package stuff that you can buy. A lot of Packer stuff, like I was saying earlier. A lot of Packer stuff in there from shot glasses, cups, to jackets, shirts, you name it. But yeah, if you're looking for a creative present or something, I definitely would go there to the Best of Beloit Vintage Mall. Uh, Nelly's Restaurant, usually Google Maps doesn't lie to me in terms of reviews and whatnot. And maybe I just didn't get the best thing, right? service was all right the food itself was okay as you saw uh, i mean listen if i'm gonna give it a, a review on google google maps i would give it a three out of five stars you know it's not the worst not the best but it was good it was solid it was average pictures obviously made it look bigger and my video camera is probably going to make it look bigger than it actually was as well because 
when you zoom in, makes it look bigger than it is. Also another place to go, I think it's called Truck Tacos. You'll see the video. Uh, that was one of the five places that was listed to go to. Well, there's the interstate right there. Time to go back to Columbia. Great time in Beloit. Shout out the sky carp for the merch, of course. Uh, could spend a weekend, I think for sure, at the Ironworks Hotel, like I said. There are other good hotels in the area as well. And also two affordable options like an Airbnb. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you around.